Paul Inventor 3 here. Uh, today we're going to be trying out these capacitance decade box boxes. And we're going to be playing around. Uh, before we move on to these, we'll be playing around with these capacitors at the top. Now I've already unsoldered this one here. <coughs> So we could put whatever capacitance we want in here now. Uh, these are just some of my other circuits here. These are both the best ones so far. Uh, both getting over 40 volts. This one I marked on there. I'm getting about 35 for some reason. Alright, here's some other smaller capacitors there. Those are the same as those, just from a different manufacturer. And anyhow, um, um, well, let's go ahead and try uh, some different capacitance on there. Like I said, I just now checked it today, so this is what I was getting off with these capacitors right here. So let's uh, experiment with that now. I'll be right back. Okay, I just wanted to show you. Uh, we put those two capacitors on. This is what we have right now. Was a little higher before. Anyhow, okay. Now I'm just going to show you real quick with those two little tiny ones on there. We should get about the same thing. Let's make sure. All right, we're about three minutes later here. Um, <laughs> it's my neighbor in the background. <laughs> I'm getting a little bit more out of those. I don't know why. All right, it's making a liar out of me. That's the voltage we should have been getting with those other two capacitors on there. I don't know why. Every time I do an experiment, uh, repeat an experiment, it seems like I keep getting different results sometimes. But anyhow, okay, we're going to continue on and go ahead and connect these guys on there. And we'll just treat this as one capacitor and the other box as one capacitor. So uh, let me get them hooked up and we'll be right back. Uh, right now I'm going to set them both on the same... Uh, capacitance these are which is a uh, 100 nanofarads 0.1 microfarad I think uh, I'll check and make sure all right we'll be right back okay Let's see one leg of one capacitor Coming over to one side here, the blue and the green. On this side, come over to that capacitor. And then this leg of both capacitors connected together with the antenna connected to the middle. And that's this red one. So let's see. All right, so uh, what's going on here? I'm only getting just over seven volts, and we had over 30, 30 volts. Now this is the same capacitance, 100 nanofarads. Is this box built different? Um, all right, we might not be able to use these decade boxes here um, I do have some air capacitors but that's a pain in the butt trying to adjust each one and checking the value of it and um, let me pull out the information I have on these boxes and see what's going on 
I'll be right back. Okay, so first I wanted to double check here my LCR meter. It is in fact 100 nanofarads, close enough. Uh, I just checked both of them. The other one's like 109. Uh, this is an old cheap meter. This meter could be off a little bit. I uh, trust these boxes more than I do these. Uh, Alright, let's see here. I uh, There's some information on it. Um, switch insulation. 50,000 mega ohms. Switch contact resistance. I don't know if those things could have something to do with it. Let's see. A uh, useful feature of this unit is the residual capacitance being compensated for on the 10 times 100 picofarads and the 10 times 100 nanofarad dials so that the actual value of the dial setting appears at the terminals. Hmm. Um, let me see real quick here. One second. Oh, come on, Paul. Um, let's see. Let's see. The capacitors are a combination of polycarbonate and polystyrene, generously rated, minute 160 volt DC. Huh. I don't know if that could have something to do with it or what. Uh, I'll be right back. Okay. I think it's just because of the type of capacitors they're using. Because uh, I'm even checking both boxes, even connected together in series. It's like half the capacitance, so that's correct, they're in series, not in parallel. Um, so, um, alright, we're just going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. So let's uh, co experiment with different uh, capacitor values in there. And we'll have to try little by little, and we'll be right back. Let me put these boxes away, because they're just not going to work in this particular experiment. Hmm. Alright, I'll be back. Okay, so... Hopefully you guys can see that. The sunlight is really killing me. Um... Uh, we got just over 30 volts. But uh, I decided to try. These are the same uh, 100 nanofarads, the same as the other capacitors that I've always been using. Same value, but they're a different type. Since that decade box wasn't working for us, I had to see. I forget what type of capacitor these, these are. Uh, someone out there could probably tell me without me looking it up online. <laughs> but anyhow, you know, yeah, we're getting about the same reading. We're just over 30 volts with those capacitors. So now we're trying those and we're getting about the same results. I don't know why we're only getting like seven, over seven volts uh, with the decade boxes. But, okay, so I just wanted to show you that. Those are working just as good. So we'll, we'll uh, experiment now with uh, different values. Let's see what happens. Okay. Um, now these two, I don't know if I caught the final voltage on camera, but it was 32.7. 
So now I've put these capacitors in here, which are back to our ceramic disc, but they're uh, 220 nanofarads. So it's like uh, basically doubling what we had originally, and we're pretty darn close to the same thing. Uh, two seconds ago, yeah, that was a 33. I wonder if these diodes are being affected a little bit by the sun. Depends on what diodes you use. So it's still going up a tiny bit, but let me. get out of the way of any sunlight now oh, it's still going up <laughs> I don't know what the heck alright is that about it It's kind of fluctuating there. It's not going to go up much higher now. So we're getting less than one volt more. It is something. So uh, we'll try to keep increasing it and decreasing and go both ways and see what happens here. Uh, I might have to use those air capacitors that I have. I'm not sure yet. They're, the ones I have are very low value and don't have much range uh, so they would just be well we could use those later for fine tuning okay so after a long day trying many different capacitors here many different types and styles and ranges and uh, there's barely any difference All different range in nanofarad, microfarads, picofarads. Uh, this isn't even all, this is a small portion of the capacitors I've tested today. Well, you could see the difference in the voltages. Oops. There's really not much difference, barely any difference at all. All different types. And let's see. I think these are about the best. These little tiny ones. There's the other ones we usually use. These have the same uh, capacitance rating as those. 34.3. Um, Yeah, it seems strange. Maybe each time I change a capacitor, I gotta readjust that. Maybe we got that just tuned right for these cap I don't know, it's strange. And then I've tried it. Let's see, we're at 34.4. Well, let's see what happens when we remove those capacitors altogether. starts dropping fast. I didn't even see how low it goes. But 
You need a capacitance in there. That's for sure. But it's strange that it doesn't make any difference of the value. Yeah, now you got me wondering if with every single capacitor I tried, should I have been also adjusting that up and down with each one? Oh my god. I don't know, but I think we're going to go on. We'll have to check those eventually too. And try different diodes. I'm making a list of components I need to order. Um, so anyhow, that's about it for today. Um, let me show you one more cool clip here. Uh, I jumped ahead of my experiments here and uh, just had to see um, the results of charging up a capacitor. And we'll show you that clip right now.